Now you can put rattlers in a fiddle, and if you play, you can hear that sound like a rattlesnake, you know, buzzing around in there. He'd catch a big rattlesnakes, and he'd, and he'd tie a string a thread around. And he'd just, he'd just like the whiz, as a whiz, and you know, over and over and over and this and that, but just pull it tight like. And he put it in there and just kept it in there, and I, we asked him what he'd done for. He said, if it's good luck, you got one in there? Have you? Tell Melvin Wine and who had that. play the fiddle a lot. I learned that tune. The little boy stole my jacket. He lived down in Burlington, a little village down there. He played for all the square dancers back in them days. He just had the fiddle. He never had no other instrument. He played the fiddle by himself. And my dad and my uncle, they'd go down there and they'd have them what they call play parties. And the girls were the same. They'd come in there and they'd dance out there in that old schoolhouse. And the old man was getting old up in here and he began to get tired and he told them, he said, I'm going to play another tune, I'm going to have to quit. All they told him, Mr. Blackburn said, don't quit, he says, we're just getting well acquainted and having a good time. Well, he says, he says, if you make me up a dollar and a quarter, he says, I'll fill this building so full, so full of music you can't hear your own ears. Poor old fellow, he, he had a big sandy mustache, he's a big man, he whistled. And when he whistled, the air come through that, it sounded like wind blown through a treetop. <laughs> he kind of whistled when he blew, but I learned that tune by him whistling. Snake rattles in it, and I got up there playing, and then things come this rattling just like he's on the snake. And I finally just quit when I got off the stage. I got out, took outside, and shook around till I got those rattlers and took them out of there and put them in the fiddle case because they they'll get to, they'll they'll get to singing in there and just vibrate. You, you just ruins your fiddle. Do you know that? Yep, they'll jar just like he's on the snake if you get this right. Vibrate. You think it's a snake in <laughs> Kind of scary. Well, my grandfather was a uh, name is Morse Greathouse, and he was a fiddle player. Come down around Barber County, and he used to go to square dancers. And that's about the only entertainment they had back in them days. But some guy always coming around wanting him to. To teach him, teach him how to play the violin or fiddle, whatever you call it. Uh, in them days, you called it a fiddle. And he didn't want to take no time on teaching him how to play the fiddle. He told him you'd have to give yourself up to the devil to learn how to play a fiddle. <laughs> me and me and the booger man never got that thick. 
I've always had to call the, the devil's instrument the fiddle, but I don't really know whether he, I, I don't know whether he played a fiddle or not. <laughs> no. If he did, he probably drunk liquor too. <laughs> Someone asked me, said, do you have snake rattles in your fiddle? And I said, yeah. He said, I'd be damned if I'm going to play a fiddle with a rattlesnake in it. <laughs> Keep us in along. In spite of all our woes, it's what we tell you go. We spent many happy days on Brewer's Farm. It's the fairest spot in Mango along Old Marbone Way, where Tug River empties goes down Sandy Way. With the farmers in the dell, that spot we all love well. That lovely place we all call Ruth's Farm. <laughs> 